right, today we're putting in the B&M ProGate shifter. I got everything unboxed, ready to go. Gonna go in the old C10 LS swap. Don't forget your 10% more horse stickers. The instructions, your hardware and everything. I got everything labeled already, so I know what I'm doing when I go to put it in, so I don't have to run all over the place. And then I'll get it in. I gotta find a place to go through the floor for the cable. I already got a bracket in the inside that uh, I'll show you guys when I lower the truck. Other than that, I'm just gonna get to it. Okay, back on the top side here, I got my bracket where I want it, the shifter where I want it, and how I like it. The only thing I gotta do, not too thrilled about it, but I'm gonna have to put a hole in the seat to run the cable through, and then, excuse the shaking here, I found a hole in the floor right there that I can use. I'm just gonna have to go from the bottom side, drill it out a little more so I can run the cable through. Then I'll hook it up to the shifter, we'll mark on the floor where I want the shifter, I'll bolt that down solid. Then we'll run the cable. All right, so we drilled everything. We ran the cable through the seat and had to drill out the hole in the floor. Um, so that's all in and good. And then over here, I painted the bracket as well as I just got the bolts in there loosely now. Yes, you do have to take it mostly apart to get to everything, but I'm going to bolt it up how I want it, put everything back together, then I'm going to put it back in. But I just kind of wanted to show you that you gotta take everything apart so you can get to the bolts here. And it's really not that bad to take it apart either, but. Alright guys, it's in, it's done. Here it is. Not the prettiest, but nothing you can really do. Sorry about the lighting. Got a little late on us, but it's done, it's in. Works really good, I already tested it out. Really glad I put it in. If you all are wondering why I put this in versus, you know, having an automatic on the column. Um, with these Turbo 350s having a governor in them and the LS wanting to shift at 7,000 RPM, obviously a small block never turned 7,000 RPM. So it needed some kind of uh, way to be shifted at 7,000. And the only way to do that would be to shift it manually with, with the column. So now I can very easily shift it manually. Um, the problem with shifting it manually with the column is every once in a while you'd come up and you'd accidentally go into third and since it was so high of an RPM it'd go straight into third then you lose all your power. Um, I'm not saying I you know make 7000 RPM pulls on the street all day long but it is nice to have in have a functional truck so that's why I put it in here. Well worth the money I suggest getting it if you uh, need a ratchet shifter or 
a drag style shifter, I should say, not a ratchet shifter for a Turbo 350 or Turbo 400. Very good. I'll leave the part numbers in the description. There you have it. It's all new shifter.